hello in this video we will be talking about exception filter so this is probably the last main fundamental topic of this entire series so let's move forward um, we or we have a global exception filter by default so previously we learned about um, pipes cards middleware and the last topic was about the interceptors so we had to implement all of them globally if we wanted to ourselves manually uh, but NestJS come by default with global exception filter which is implemented so for every exception uh, we have only mainly two types which is either HTTP exception or unrecognized uh, if the exception is unrecognized then this type of beautiful um, response is sent uh, if you work with Node.js by default or Express.js um, it actually breaks your own server right if they if, they, if uh, the error is not handled but that is not the case in NestJS it handles your uh, exception if you have not handled any of the error so this is a pretty uh, cool part I would say so for the HTTP exception part there are quite a lot uh, you know this is an entire list so most of the time if uh, you would be working with um, authorization you would send an authorized request forbidden exception is sent whenever you know uh, the token or the user is not uh, authorized for a certain uh, you know area to access and there are other uh, a lot of ex exceptions as well let's try and implement first this unrecognized one and then um, check out an example or two for this HTTP exception, exception in our uh, practical demo okay so uh, let's move ahead and go to our user controller um, user dot controller here and um, let's work with this get request so if I hit send here I will be getting this let's see um, let's try and comment all of this that we did earlier in our interceptor uh, go to user dot interceptor and remove this log as well as just comment it out so that it is remaining there whenever we push the code so now go to the controller and here just throw an error like this hit save and check if uh, the message send a uh, response for the exception by itself or not See, we got uh, status code 500 and internal server error. Now let's try and uh, play with the recognized errors of HTTP exception. Okay, so let's try ahead and implement some HTTP exception, which is a recognized one. So let's write HTTP exception, and it is now imported from uh, here HTTP exception and then send forbidden 403 other than that if you don't remember this uh, you know the number what you can do is uh, you can use the enum like which is also imported from natjs common so http status dot you have access to all of these and just send this one hit send and then you will be seeing uh, the proper response so let's okay let's refresh now hit send yep see the status code is changed and the message is now forbidden so whatever the string you send here it will be um, received as the message as just I showed you so we can uh, send anything here as we want if you hit save here it will be sent as forbidden 1 2 3 uh, let me show it to you so other than that you can also choose to send an object here like this so hit save and click send okay so the application is restarting okay see uh, now we get error this is a custom message so you can choose to send an entire object here if you want to do that so let's try and make some changes here as well for example you have some um, object that you want to send as an exception as well uh, you can choose to do that you can make any changes in this object and it will be sent back to the client side 
so i hope the application is restarted no not yet okay now it's restarted so hit send and see name shamiluddin so you can uh, play with the exception http exception as much as you want other than that um, you can also send um, default exception as well for example i told you about unauthorized exception like this if i hit uh, if i save it and i hit send then okay let the server restart so see now you get messages unauthorized status code 401 so you didn't have to define the code and the you know message uh, separately just like that you have access to this so it is also being imported from nsjs common just like that you can have access to so many exceptions like conflict exception and there are so many i showed you in the slide as well so that is what you can choose to do uh, if you want to do so i guess this made sense to you so this was it for the entire video uh, i will try to cover something more in the next hopefully thank you for watching